Hello friends, welcome back. Want to make your Angular app faster? Today we will dive into lazy loading in Angular. Both traditional and the new powerful standalone approach in Angular 18. Come, let's get started. Alright, I'm gonna explain you what is lazy module and then I'm gonna show you demo for the lazy module with older Angular application and newer Angular application. So, so that you better understand the lazy module to implement both ng module based and standalone component based. Alright, so what is lazy loading? Loading modules or the components only when they are needed. It improves initial load time and enhances the app performance. Okay, so the application that you are seeing here is a little bit older Angular version which is based on ng module. Okay, it doesn't matter what version it is but it is based on ng module. So we have modules and modules. Alright, so this application is like that. Now, what is happening is when you hit this URL, the application is loaded. Okay, but if you look at here, I'm going to filter this with JS. Okay, and just JS in the network. So in the network, just the JS, you have a lot of these files, right? So what is happening is now this application is built based on the lazy loading. It is very fast because the application loads only with what is required to load on the front page. It doesn't really load anything that is related to the managed product, my wish list products. It doesn't load anything. So how am I saying that? All right. So if you look at this, I will kind of clear everything. Okay. If I navigate to product, you see there's a JS file getting downloaded. This is a separate JS file built and loaded only when the route detects that this module is required. Similarly, if I go to different modules, you see this another JS file which is loaded only required for the admin section. This is different. That is different. Both are different. All right. Now, how are we doing this? Now, let's take a look at the code of how this is done. So this is the code that you're seeing. Don't worry, I will give you all of this code. They're all existing repositories. But let's understand what it is. When you define a route, if you define routes like this, they're all built into one JS file. All of these are built into one JS file. However, this one has a couple of modules. That's a product module. That's an admin module. Okay. So when you define that, okay, there's a module, but load the children's and then you specify that whenever this product is, uh, route is activated, then only load this product module. Similarly, whenever you go to admin route, only then load the admin module. So when the Angular builds itself, it will build based on separate, separate junk files. Okay. That's why when you navigated to those two, these things came once that is downloaded, you know, that won't download again. Basically what this is trying to achieve is on a user perspective. Okay. If there is an internet, slow internet or whatever it is, we don't need to download everything on speed. At, at the same time because we have no way to find out the user will go to all of these things who knows user comes here he never goes to any of these things so why why have we downloading everything we don't need it that's the concept whenever you want only that time you load that's the underlying lazy loading concepts in angular okay now stay focused this is only for ng module based now here comes our hero standalone based approach which is in angular 18 okay I'm going to show you a different application now. Okay. So this application is online course enrollment application, which a lot of my viewers knows already. Now look at this carefully. Whenever I am on this home page and then going to a different page, I'm going to go here and then do a dot JS. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to refresh one more time. So we can do it from first. So home page. I go to this page. You see this? There's a chunk downloaded. If I go here, another one. Another one for this route. Oh, a separate JS. But maybe not for anything else, right? Because I didn't do it. So here's the concept. In Angular 18, because we use standalone, what do you mean by standalone? So let's go take a look at the code. So if you go to any of these components, right? So for example, let's go to the contact as component. So in the contact in the component, wherever we define standalone as true, which means it has its own ng modules. 
see in import section it has this router module activate a lot of four modules are there this itself it's a package now because this is standalone true we can make this also a lazy module okay so lazy loading can even be at a component level it need not to be at the module level now what you have to do is same concept okay so you have a component with the standalone true all what we have to do is we have to go to the route which is here and all what you have to do is you have to do like this so for example abort us right so in abort us we give the path after that you say load component in the previous example you saw it was load child you see this load children's because under this many components routes are there that's why it is load children this is ng module based but here load component and then we are making it lazy to load it whenever this routes gets activated only then this module is downloaded this component is downloaded that's why you saw dot js file separately okay so similarly for this I, similarly for this route i define but i did not define for another routes that is intentionally to show you that whenever you define this lazy loading only this lazy loading concepts will come into picture and whenever the application is trying to build it will build separate separate chunk files if not it won't build any separate file so if you go to terminal and then try to you see this ng build if you try to build i will show you what happens so it will try to build you see this let's apply ng build and it is building and you can clearly see only because we have lazy loading components whenever it is building and creating the chunk files you see this it will create a lot of different chunk files you see this L lazy chunk files all of these chunk files are corresponding to these components one two three and then four see four different components we have that lazy loading that's why the size of these files are separate but for all the other thing it is all combined okay so that's the beauty you see this all of these files are different different files so if you want to do a lazy loading this is how you do in the new way of standalone approach okay so i hope you enjoyed this video you have all of the codes that is required for this lazy loading all what you have to know is to how to do it how it works because in interview they will ask these kind of important questions they don't test they will test your knowledge only through asking realistic real-time questions okay so stay tuned i will also post many interview questions videos going forward but if you like this video do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions let me know in the comment section give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next important video until then stay tuned and bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding